can't say my typical line, the home of PBs, because I can't no, give. Uh, I can't well, give Glenn we, Huntley that satisfaction. We just don't know. We just <laughs> we just don't know if Glenn Huntley is the home of PBs. It just, just hasn't been tested enough. Whereas Box Hill well and truly well has. And, yeah, well we and know truly it's, it's, tested. It's evidence. It's so, well, it's not science. It's more like maths, it's, I guess. No, it's science. Science, okay. It <laughs> it's a home it PBs. Science, it's science. It's philosophy. Yeah, <laughs> Aristotle. <laughs> Did you go to a smart school or something? Wow, yeah. <laughs> TRI, what's that? What's the breathing abbreviation TRI? Should probably know, given it's my own school. Shout out, Trinity. So, our men's B race. So, three 800-metre races left on the calendar here on the timetable here at Glen Huntley. Last final Miles Club meet of the season. Lane one is Hamish Bayless from Deakin. Lane two, Finian Russell from Morning to Peninsula. Lane three, Isaac Rosato from Eureka. Lane four, James Hatton from Glen Huntley. Lane five, Brian Wilson from Melbourne Uni. Lane six, Felix Lonigan from St. Kevin's. Lane seven, James Taranto from his unattached. Lane eight, mark. Matthew Goff, Mentone. Lane nine, Luke Padgett from Eureka. And there is a bunch of athletes here who have changed clubs within the last three or four years yeah. because I'm sure a few of them I recognise next to different clubs. Felix Lonigan. Certainly Absolutely. Yeah, Finn Russell could be another one. Luke Padgham, Eureka yep. used to be Bendigo, but we won't talk about that. We'll talk about the races on hand right now as James Hatton from Glen Huntley sits in nicely behind Brian Wilson from Melbourne University. And it is a bit of a pack run so far. The athletes are only separated by well, about three seconds in seed time. The leading person in the race now does have the leading seed time of 1.54, and that is the time that they will be chasing as a pack. Yeah, so Brian Wilson's going to be more than happy to lead these boys out. And as you mentioned, Mick, he does have the fastest uh, time in this race. So he, at the front, is going to be very advantageous to the rest. And the next guy with the fastest time is Felix Lonigan. He's tucked in right behind him. So he we is. see our Mornington Peninsula athlete, Finian Russell. He's obviously chasing a time with a 156 to his name. So it is going to be... Brian Wilson ahead of Felix Lonigan. Finney and Russell not far behind there on the outside. Hamish Bayless has wheels tucked in at the inside of the rail. So if he can get himself free, he could get absolutely flying. But watch out for Felix Lonigan tucked in beautifully behind Brian Wilson. Wilson's done it early. And here we see now uh, Glenn Huntley out there. They seem to know when to move. Is, Jimmy Hatton. Here we go, Mick. He is going up on the shoulder of Felix Lonigan with gusto. He is chasing Brian Wilson. Is he going to run out of space, Brian Wilson? He's just extending that lead ever so slightly as Hatton slips in behind Lonigan again. Nice try, but he might have just tied at the wrong spot. Lonigan, a class runner now. Looks like he's almost going to be coming up on the shoulder of Wilson as they charge into the home straight. It is Wilson, Lonigan. It's a race of two out the front. Hatton is charging hard as well. The athlete from Mentone, Matthew Goff, Finn Russell, they're all there. Wilson finishing first in 156. Lonigan not too far away in 57. And Finn Russell to round out your top three there in the men's B, 800 metres. Yeah, that was great racing. I thought Lonigan might be able to get down there in the, uh, in the final parts of that race, but really well done there from Russell and uh, good 